All right, so let's start from the beginning. I feel that it might be a rough month. Um, so we start off with the tower. And the tower itself, you know, destruction of a foundation, a stable home, destruction of a home, of a relationship, of a business venture, there's very, something very catastrophic happened. And I feel that it might have been, you know, in the past, maybe the past year even. But I feel like this energy is still affecting you come this coming, uh, in this coming month. And, you know, it, it's coming in from the very beginning of this year, which is not a good thing. Um... So it's one of those things that's irreversible. So we can't really take what you learn from it and move on with your life because there's nothing you can do to um, undo the damage, basically. You know, after a tower is destroyed, there's a pile of rubble at, at the foot of it. And is it even worth rebuilding at that point? Because um, it also, like, this... This lightning in the, here, it brings about, I, I feel, enlightenment and knowledge. So there is something revealed that shook you at your core, and you can't go back to it. And honestly, it's not worth going back to in this situation. Um, the tower is right next to the star card. And the star in the upright position is the card of Aquarius. So in this situation, it showed up in the reversed. So if there is an Aquarius person in your life, um, this might have been, you know, caused by that person because they're not being upright. They're not being upfront with you as, you know, as to their intentions. Or if you ha know someone who has a lot of Aquarian energy, again, you would need their birth time to get the chart done. But I feel that um, this person is causing the catastrophe and then, you know, turning a blind eye and being, you know, walking away and being absorbed with something else. So I feel like this Aquarius in general are kind of reckless. So if you have that person, it, it might have been caused by that person and they're just walking away and you feel, you feel just very troubled at their nonchalance. Um, so that is something to, to look out for. Um, the star card is also a wish card. And I feel that if there is something you're hoping you know, you can achieve by the beginning, uh, the end of last year or the beginning of the new year, like you're hoping for something. Then in the reverse position, I would definitely say, no, go back to the drawing board and, you know, find something else or figure this thing out. And, you know, definitely if, if, if it's a betrayal or something that's brought about by another person, you definitely need to cut them out of your life. Um, and I feel like the star, too, it's uh, being in tune, you know, being unprotected and just being your highest self. And I feel like in this situation, if this is you that's um, going through this crisis, you're not able to look at your bigger self. You're upset and angry and... Um, and your emotional, you know, situation is out of balance because you're, you're not... you're not exhibiting all the higher qualities of yourself. Virgos are very sweet, generous, and loving people. So I feel like something is making, reducing you to this really small, petty person. So, you know, you have to let that go. And I'm reading the star in reverse and temperance in reverse as this emotional state that you, you, you allow yourself to, to shrink into. So temperance, again, is the balance of the emotion. Uh, the star is the balance of the intuition. And also, like, it's the wish card, you know, forging your path ahead. So you might not get what you want, but that doesn't mean, you know, it's... Don't let it cripple you to the point where you, you've ruined the, the goodness within yourself. So, you know, temperance, your, your, your emotional balance is out of whack. But there's an emotional imbalance, so work on that, repair that. It's going to take some time because the tower card is very catastrophic. But that's the only way you're going to get through this emotionally because physically there is no way you can go back to that. I don't think you would want to either. On top of that, you do have the Emperor. Um, 
the emperor in the upright position can mean, you know, an authority figure that is um, that can lend a helping hand to your endeavor. Um, this is a very fiery energy, and emperor is also like the um, epitome of an Aries. It is um, the emperor represent Aries um, in the cards. So there's this. Um, I feel that after this happened, you you feel that you need to jump on right ahead to a new venture. But um, he's in reverse, so I feel that there is some blockages regarding this new venture, this new fiery start that you're hoping to 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 launch you forward and help you get over this tower situation. But um, yeah, in the reverse position, there is definitely some blockage. There might be an Aries that, uh, like a boss or a partner that you're dealing with. Aries are not, you know, the best at being in partnerships, in business partnerships. They're very, um, they're better off being, you know, self-employed. And I feel like Virgos, they like to work behind the scenes. So maybe someone is, you know, um, taking all the credit for what you're doing and they're, they're blocking you. So there's definitely some blockage here. So... Let's find a way to extract that. Let's see, read the rest of the cards and we'll see how we can move forward. So, you have the Page of Wands here. And um, I, the Page of Wands is a uh, younger person. It could be a messenger. Someone who's bringing in good news. And the Page of Wands is upright in this situation. So you have this new surge of vitality, of, you know, wanting to move things forward, wanting to propel things forward. And there is definitely blockage, but, you know, the ideas might be great. It's just that person that you're in the partnership with or that you're working under um, might not, you know, see eye to eye with you. And um, I feel that, too. So Virgo is an earth sign, and um, earth and fire are not usually, you know, the best combination. So I feel that in the past, maybe you were a little premature in doing something, starting a project, a new relationship, a new um, job, where this tower happened. So, you know, like, once burned, twice shy. So now you're very hesitant. You're, you're very hesitant about it. So this is why there's this blockage right there. And on top of that, you are hesitating because this card is showing up right after the Page of Wands. And... It's the Two of Swords. You're at an impasse. You're at a standstill. You have to remain perfectly still like this in order to maintain your equilibrium. She's blindfolded. She doesn't know what's going on around her. She has these swords in her hands. She's getting ready to strike, but the, the advice here is to remain perfectly in this situation because you're blindfolded. You don't know who you're going to strike if you indeed strike, and it might bring about regrettable actions so it's important for you like after all the turmoil that you've been through you know with the tower you need to be at this standstill you know phase so I feel like there's a lot of water emotional energy here so I feel like if you have been in a relationship with a fire sign with um, which is signified by that strong emperor in reverse and also the tower um there and this page of wands too is uh, it's a fiery energy so someone is coming in with news and you're reluctant to budge you're you're scared and you're you don't know all the facts and we're not supposed to know all the facts and you're relying on your intuition with the moon and the water in the background so this is a very uncomfortable place to be and i know virgos are just very decisive well in their subtle way they're incredibly decisive, and um, it's just, it. I feel that you're being indecisive at this point, or you're being, you know, you're just standing still because you're so fearful of that tower, and you're so fearful that it's going to happen again, and you still have this, this heartbreak. This is the Three of Swords. It's the traditional card of heartbreak. So the tower happened at the beginning of the month, you know, where it shook your foundation. And now you you don't know what to do, so you're not you're not taking charge of your life. You're just 
sitting back and watching to see what comes around and yet in the back of your mind there is this dreadful fear you see the heart is not really bleeding so it might be a fear and I feel with the source that it's a mental fear a mental fear of being you know vulnerable again of being in this place of um, of distress again whereas it might not in fact manifest you know in reality so it's just a fear in your head um, so it's actually important for you I feel that this is okay to be this way for this moment and I feel that maybe this will resolve itself in the time of Aquarius you know the the sword energy with the air sign maybe this is something that you can actually go forward but um, we do have Mercury retrograde until the energy won't leave until you know the third week of Aquarius so maybe after that you will find you know the the um, closure that you need and you will know how to proceed so I would say just channel this energy you know remain in this situation okay so the next card that I have is the six of pentacles no the six of pentacles is um, you know giving alms giving things out things that you have that uh, to the less fortunate so with the three of swords right in front of it I feel that you also need to be very careful that um, people are not stabbing you in the back and also are not misrepresenting themselves they might say they want certain things from you when in fact they're not being honest and truthful and in general be discriminate about who gets what from you I feel that um, Virgos are generally very loving and giving people and um, so somebody is playing on your um, your feelings they're they're taking your kindness for a weakness and that that's just wrong so just just be on the lookout for that just be very discriminate this month just don't <laughs> I wouldn't say don't leave the house but just be aware of your surrounding be aware of the people around you and you know just definitely definitely don't give out more than you can um, afford so this card here is um, the card of holding on to your resources in the reverse situation couple with this it's um there are people that actually will need you and there are those that don't so you know be extremely discriminate to make sure that um, help is going to the right people and the uh, wrong people will not abuse you. I feel like this is not satisfactory, so um, let me pull out another card here and see if we can get like a, a sense of closure. Okay, so we do have the pentacle, knight of pentacles coming in, and this is another earth sign. This could be you or another earth sign, a Virgo, Leo, oh, I'm sorry, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. He's coming in at the end of the month and um, so which makes three pentacles um, ca card total so there might be a new business venture a new romantic attraction that is coming into your life I mean on the heel of the tower and the three of swords I don't feel like this you're ready for a romantic encounter yet but um this person is upright which is good so he's handing you a gift of um, either financial abundance or you know love or just promises of a new relationship he is a knight though so you know on the heart of on the heel of heartbreak you might not be ready for this but this person is coming in and I feel like you know this is good energy um, just don't start anything because it is mercury in retrograde um, the end of this month so just be on the lookout but I would say you're you're not you're not yourself right now you are not yourself you're not in tune with your emotions and you're not intuitive at this point you're in a dark place so do this just hold off on important decisions just hold still you know um, maybe until mercury the end of mercury retrograde things will get better so the end of next month things will get better you will have all the information you need and all this mental anguish will just dissipate so I apologize for the bummer reading but um I feel that it's it's a hard month overall and um 
Maybe in the time of Aquarius, by February, this will, or even the end of this month, this will turn around for you a 